Starting 2022 off with kind of this smaller psychological horror film on Netflix, is it worth it or is it a waste of your time? What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. The Wasteland, or The Beast, couple of titles here, is now on Netflix, brand new original movie, and if you're a fan of the genre, it may be one that you want to check out. Is it worth it? We're going to talk about it spoiler-free, and let's get into it. So Lucia and her son live far away from society in a flat area where there is almost no life. This small family unit receives hardly any visitors and their goal is to develop a peaceful existence. At first they succeed, but the appearance of a mysterious and violent creature that begins to haunt their small house will put the relationship that unites them to the test. And before I get into what makes this film work, if you guys are here, I talk all things on streaming. So if you enjoy this content, you like this review, be sure to drop your thumbs up to support this channel. In terms of what this film was bringing us, or at least what I thought it was going to bring us, I essentially expected it to be a small creature feature. But I didn't know how much they were going to put this creature, whether it be total CGI, prosthetics, however you're going about it, at the forefront of the movie, or focus more on the characters and kind of barely show what's hiding in the shadows. Either way they go, as long as the execution's there, I'm fine with it. And they chose to do the latter. They chose to go the route of, okay, we're going to focus on this mother and her child. And her young son is going to have to learn some things along the way. Learn how to uh, get himself prepared for this threatening creature in the darkness, uh, but also have this psychological arc, and using that word, I would consider this kind of a psychological thriller, maybe even more so than a horror movie, we'll talk about why here in just a second, uh, but learn how to handle himself, help protect his mother, which is probably good because there are some decisions from his mother that feel off in this movie, and not even necessarily, oh, you're making the wrong decision, why are you doing that, it's more so... I just don't know if that feels realistic enough to uh, keep its place in this film. And because of that, you, you feel this uh, imbalance of realism, maybe more so than they intended. But those qualms aside, I do like the setup of this movie. It's slow. It's going to take, you know, a little bit more focus than maybe expected. But it's this smaller scale story that often works for a, a lower budgeted movie like this. Uh, now we'll get back to the story here in just a second. I do have some more elements that didn't quite work for me, but I want to talk about what really works in this film and why at the end of the day, I do at least appreciate what they were doing here. The cinematography, there are some shots in this movie uh, and we kind of go full circle. Some of the best shots in the film are at the beginning and then you kind of round it all out, come back and there's one shot at the end that I thought was breathtaking. Uh, whether that be the background, the set design, the atmosphere, all of that is captured by the visuals and the visuals are really great. And the idea to not show what is haunting them. Again, I want to re refrain from giving spoilers here. It's a good one, but it's also kind of a questionable decision at first because it's like, how are you going to keep viewers engaged? Well, first of all, you have to have good actors, right? And I believe the acting here is really solid. There aren't a lot of people in this movie, uh, but our two leads, their chemistry is great. You can feel uh, this young boy kind of coming into his own by the end of the movie, and I really appreciate the fact that this movie was able to do that. Now, in terms of calling this a horror film, I was never truly scared especially when you talk about the jump scares in this movie. And, you know, I'm not completely against jump scares. It all comes down to the execution, how they are handled. And I just thought they were poorly handled in this film. They come across as either awkward or uh, just not working for what they're trying to do. Overall, I do wish they would have refrained and showed a bit more restraint from that. What works is more of that psychological type horror, the slower moments with the intense buildup, thinking something's in the corner of the screen. Do you truly see something or not? At one point, we see a reflection in the eyes of our young son, and that was... Uh, those were the moments that worked for me much more so than anything else in the movie. And the idea, kind of the motto of face your fears and at one point in your life you're going to have to do something to either protect someone else or protect yourself. That's the underlying message here. And that's a message that, you know, if you stay on board, because again, the pacing, it's going to throw a lot of people off, uh, then I think you'll take that home with you. In terms of the ending, it's ambiguous. I think a lot of people will call it unsatisfying and I do appreciate the 
full circle arc of our character. Uh, that's what I got from the ending, but actual satisfaction level, I'm kind of like, okay. We never really got that moment that we're expecting from a psychological horror, which is why I'm staying away from using the word horror altogether. Before I give you guys my score, I just dropped my most anticipated TV shows and movies. They are on the channel right now. And did you enjoy this Spanish movie on Netflix and this review? If you did, be sure to drop your thumbs up and leave a comment. This story shows restraint in a way that benefits the growth of the characters, but there may not be enough here to keep viewers on the edge of their seats. And because of that, I'm going a 52, but I don't want to go much lower than that because uh, there are some elements that were surprising, again, visually stunning. I just wish the story would have lived up uh, to all of the effort put into that. But those are just my thoughts. Guys, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming out on Netflix. I may or may not be watching Ozark right now. So we're going to have some reviews and some more lists coming soon. This weekend, expect an Oscar and Golden Globes prediction video on this channel. Appreciate you guys big time. Come back. I'll see you soon.